Cotton Hill Restaurant Week is going to be in May, which is one of the best times. It's when the market is completely full of spring produce. You can spend a year here eating out every night and have a different experience every single night. We have that level of quality that people expect when they come here, and we try and exceed that every time. Um, the food's all about love. The little things are what people remember. And, you know, things like remembering what someone likes, doesn't like. If you head to New York, if you're going to Broadway, the show starts right here. It is said that people fall into one of two categories, left brain or right brain. Left brained people might be likely to say, it's just too crazy. And no, I would not want to see that show. When presented with the opportunity to see Blue Man Group, can left brained people enjoy a so called creative show? <laughs> Even people who are afraid of disorder enjoyed Blue Man Group. It was tremendously good fun. Blue Man Group, what's your story? <laughs> I'm Bob from Woodland, and this is my power. I used to watch my bill only once a month when it came in, and it got so high, I thought I was powering a street light out front. Then I got the smart meter. They have a whole lot of little graphs that tell you on an hourly basis how much energy you're using. I show that to the family. I said, do you see this spike? That means a lot of money, so let's bring that spike down. Our family now is trained. We're not using them. Pull the plugs. That's why in my house, I'm known as the energy cop. <laughs> now you see my power. See yours at pge.com slash smart meter. When I was going through cancer, knowing the word and singing the word is what got me through it. I try to sing songs that my choir can identify with, that describes their everyday life. Because each one of us have a story. Sometimes I literally don't get a chance to preach, man. I slipped into a coma, and when I woke up, the amputation of both legs was already done. I love God, and there's nothing I want to do for him. So to go through with my limbs cut off, man, piece of cake. And I'm going to be back up here in the choir before they know it. We literally just fly through the airport. Continental is really with me every step of the way to make my whole meeting a success. It was just a totally a pleasurable experience. It takes the edge off of travel because you know that you're being treated with care. It's delightful. It was just a good experience from start to finish. My name is James Powderly. Um, working on a project called uh, the Eye Rider. Basically, it's a, an eye tracking system. We point it at the eye um, to track the movement of the pupil. And then we translate that uh, into commands in a drawing interface. The eye writer was the tool that allowed for Tony to draw again. It liberated him from the confines of this illness. Tony was a legendary LA graffiti artist who innovated the scene there. Tony was diagnosed, I think, in 2002 with uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Five of us ended up going out to LA in order to try to develop with Tony this prototype called the, the Eye Rider. Here I am in, in beautiful Mumbai with the mission to create a version of the LA Eye Rider using only parts that I can find here locally in Mumbai. Electrical tape, yeah. individual screwdrivers, jigo ties, heavier gauge iron wire, smaller wire cutters. I think that's it. Thank you. Patel's General Hardware. This one's Vista compatible. We got all the parts for the Mumbai Rider. And I'm going to see if I can uh, put it together now. First, I'm going to knock out these lenses and these glasses. As cool as they are, we don't need them. 